my first long toss video of the year. I've already long tossed about five times this year already, but I decided this was the time to record it. I'll show you guys what I have. I have about 50 balls in there. Above. Beautiful walk up and close. My water, of course. My three pound weight for my shoulder. My cleats, so I can have traction on the field. And my lovely cape. I have my, my J-bands for my shoulder exercises and stuff. Actually, before the J-bands, I normally do like a dynamic warm-up, which will do like high knees, butt kicks, front lunges, reverse lunges, uh, karaoke, anything that really gets the blood flow moving and do some sprints too. Alright, now it's time for my J band exercises. I do this, so reverse flies. Do about 10 of those. I take about foot forward, and then I do this. Step the same way, and then I do this. So I really try to get like the circular motion here, so I bring it all the way around and go back down. Same way, I do like chest flies. Stand straight up. I do internal rotations. Right back, right leg back, left leg forward, and a little bit. Extend on my tricep. I go back around. Try to stretch my lats here. And my rear shoulder as well. And when we come right here. Make sure to have correct posture, so roll your shoulders back, step out a little bit to get some tension in it, and then internal rotate, 10 times. Left arm parallel like this, place your right elbow on it, and internally rotate. Stand here and do some arm circles, warmed up my arm. I go reverse as well. Your throwing motion. So you stand here about shoulder width apart with your feet. Stand here and then go right through your motion. Ten times. Normally do arm circles. So I do a sm small forward. I think I count like ten in my mind, and then I go a little bigger, and a little bigger, and a little bigger. Keep going until I feel a burn, and I go smaller, a little smaller, smaller, and tiny. Then I go reverse. A little bigger, a little bigger, get a little bigger. Here's again. I do that until I feel a good burn, and then I get a little smaller, get a little smaller, a little smaller, now I do back slaps, about 10 of these. I do like swimmers, whatever you call them like this, about 10 on each side, so you should count to 20 in total. And I stand straight up, tighten your core, bring both your shoulders up, then internally rotate really slow, bring it back 10 times. One thing you'll notice with most pitchers is that their throwing arm will always have a little less range of motion, which should be worked on with stretching and mobility exercises. All right, now I do 10 back slaps again, and now we're gonna get into the three pound weight exercises. What I do is I get my correct posture, tighten my uh, core, 
Pull my shoulders back. Ten front raises. Ten side raises. Slightly rotate in, and you try to go not straight, not to the side, but like right in the middle. So about halfway. On like the soup cans, where you come up and then into and rotate. Come up, into and rotate. Ten times. Then I normally do these. You do arm circles. Start slow, begin. And then as you progressively get loosened up, you can go a little faster and extend your arm a little bit more. Once you feel the burn, go reverse. Okay. Now go to the left arm if you like to. I always say work both sides because it's not good to have imbalances in your body when it comes to muscle. On this side. Also, if you do a couple exercises, you can grab your three pound weight, uh, get your feet around bigger than shoulder width apart, or like here, you can do this, and then go reverse, and you can do this as well. I had to do right here, I have no fence, I have no throwing partner. We're during quarantine, so we're not allowed to be around other people right now. Social distancing, it's a fun time. But um, it's about 8.30 right now, I think, in the morning. But So I'm on a football field right now, and I'm quite familiar with it. It's my old school. But um, aim for like the 10 yard, 20 yard, 30 yard, 40 yard, 50 yard, 60 yard, 70 yard, 80 yard, 90 yard, and 100 yard. But it's a long toss, trying to build the arm strength, trying to get air into the ball. Try to, try to throw it as far as you can. So I normally just start just lightly tossing it about 10 15 yards yes the ball will go but i have a whole bag here so when i'm done throwing these i'll go pick them up it's a little chilly out so you're not gonna get the hand warm as alan jager says trying to massage the arm about 20 throws in i mean it all depends on how you feel and start progressing down the field and then once you get as far as you can start bringing them a little bit I really encourage long toss because you just get the freedom of the arm and it feels really good also whenever I do throw long toss I mean any throw I do throw I try to emphasis hip hinging so I can sit in my back glute more than my front quad. Get a little bit more power, get a little more velocity. throwing is to keep your core tight and your glutes. pitching or just throwing in general 
I always try to think how much energy and force can I create in my body to efficiently move it up from the ground into my fingers. So what us Mainers need for weather is warm weather. Well now my arm feels pretty loose, so what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to go and pick up all the baseballs and then I'll move over to the baseball field. I'll get to the backstop and do uh, about 10-15 pull downs to show you guys how it is. Today, we're around 50 to 60 to 65 yards, a couple 70. The reason I know that is because the middle window up there is 50 yards all the way through. So. My estimation is that these flag poles are about 70, 75, and through about two at 75 today. So that's a pretty good improvement from last time. Last time I threw a long toss. I threw about 55 to 65 feet uh, yards. So improvement. Uh, all that matters. Thankfully, a turtle to throw into. And I'm going to throw into that square right down the middle. Nice to see that second level so mostly what you do is you find your your focal point and then you gain momentum and you throw as hard as you can into it straight down into it try to get on top of the ball like this see now I threw in the third level by accident so that tells me that I need to get a little bit more on top of it you do that about 10 times, all depends on how your arm feels. And then, normally after I do this, I get on the mound and I throw a little bullpen. Now what I do just to end off the day, come back to my J-bands, I go on the fence, anything you have, and I do everything external. So I do reverse flies again 10 times, stand here 90 degrees, low, external, posture, external again, not forward throws, but reverse throws. And then, some days I put in a little hitting, hit about 100 off the tee, and then if somebody's with me, I'll hit BP. If not, that's all I'll do with the throwing. And I go home, I get a good meal in, get protein, carbs, fats, everything, and um, refuel. And then have a good day, get your work done, school work, mobility work, stretching, everything, physical work, workouts, everything. And uh, wake up the next day and do it again. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.